a measles outbreak in Philadelphia causing concern for health officials there. But they say the public should be reassured by that city's 93% vaccination rate. But is that enough to prevent an even larger outbreak? As CBS News correspondent Stephen Stock reports, that vaccination rate may seem high, but experts say it might not be enough. 93 may still be an A, but for school age immunity, it's below the grade. Both the Centers for Disease Control and the World Health Organization say communities need to reach a vaccination rate of 95% or more to reach herd immunity. That's the level that keeps large scale outbreaks from happening if a measles case is introduced into the community. Physicians today know that measles is more than a nuisance. Measles used to be a rite of passage for kids. It's a potentially deadly and highly contagious childhood virus that causes a telltale rash. A vaccine introduced in the early 60s helped nearly eradicate the disease, but it's making a comeback. That's because of a decrease in immunized children nationwide. And according to data from the Pennsylvania Department of Health, where there's a current outbreak, during the 2021-2022 school year, 94.3% of kindergartners in Philadelphia County were fully vaccinated with the MMR vaccine. Last school year, that dropped to 92.8%, below the 95% needed for herd immunity. That's really a wake-up call because the real number in many communities is probably far below 93%. Dr. Peter Hotez is co-director of the Texas Children's Hospital Center for Vaccine Development and a professor of pediatrics at Baylor College of Medicine. He says outbreaks like this one are more likely when the rates drop. Measles does not typically occur among highly vaccinated populations. So in that sense, um, low vaccination rates are the indirect cause of measles. There have been nine confirmed cases in the Philadelphia area in less than a month since the first reported case on December 19th. There are now additional cases near Washington, D.C., Delaware, and New Jersey. What's your concern for Philadelphia going forward? My concern is that we're still going to see additional measles cases. And I worry that when you talk about up to 20, roughly 20% 20 of uh, measles uh, cases require hospitalizations. If this continues, we're going to start seeing hospitalized kids with measles. A trend that we could see nationwide, where MMR vaccine levels have been dropping over the last few years and now are at 93.1%. We're just seeing now this is the tip of the iceberg. Um, we're see, going to be seeing this in communities uh, across the United States in, in the coming uh, weeks and months um, because of the spillover of the um, U.S. anti-vaccine movement to childhood immunizations. Besides those cities on the East Coast, there are now at least three confirmed measles cases in Washington state in adults. The CDC has seen 48 U.S. measles cases just in the last year. I'm Stephen Stock, CBS News. And you might be wondering how to know whether it's measles. Health experts say it's likely measles if a person has the three C's, a cough, coryza, which is a runny nose, or conjunctivitis, which is pink eye. Experts say if you have those three C's, isolate and get medical attention. We, of course, will continue to follow this story.